Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. In today's video, we are gonna talk about my top 10 aesthetic gifts for the holiday season. But honestly, it could be for anything. It could be for birthdays, anniversaries, or even just gifts for yourself to treat yourself. As far as price ranges go, it's gonna vary because I wanted to include some bougie gifts as well as some thoughtful gifts for any budget. And then I'm including a couple of electronics here for any tech geeks in your life. All right, so first up is the one that I'm probably most excited about because we've been in the market for one of these for a really long time, but it is a, oh, let me grab it. It is an espresso machine. It's an automatic espresso machine, and this one is from Terra Cafe, and it's the TK1. Obviously, I can't hold it because it's so heavy, and this is just a box. You can see it right there, actually, in my counter on my little coffee nook that I created, but this comes in this beautiful black color as well as white, which also looks really nice. But like I said, we've been in the market for it because I've been working from home for about four years now and I found myself constantly going to go get coffee when I wanted something a little bit better than pod-based coffee. I would like to drive to Starbucks or a local coffee shop and you guys know, if you've been following me, I have a van and it's a gas guzzler. So I'm spending six to seven dollars on a coffee plus wasting gas. And so I thought it was time to really look and invest in a espresso machine that we can have at home so we can make really delicious barista level quality drinks. And the main criteria for an espresso machine for us was something really easy to use and clean because I have seen what baristas do back there and I'm not trying to do that to be honest with you guys so this is why I love the Terra Cafe uh, TK1 with just a simple press of a button you can make some cappuccinos you can make lattes Americanos you can make double shots I'm currently drinking a latte right here, an ice latte. It's so good. This retails for $8.95, but it's currently $200 off. And I know that sounds like a lot, but if you're someone who buys coffee every day, this would pay itself off in like six months. And then also you have to remember that like all these machines at coffee shops, Starbucks, their espresso machines can cost up to tens and thousands of dollars. So the fact that we as consumers can get really good espresso at home now is pretty awesome. Just wanted to let you guys know, I will link everything down below in the description box. All the prices I'm talking about now are at the time of filming this, so it could change or fluctuate, but if you're interested in anything, check the links down below to see their latest prices. Okay, so next up is this bag. It is from a company from Spain. The company is called Oland, and this is their Ona soft bag. What I love about this bag is that it is soft, but it also has a very structured look and feel to it, so you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting like comfort as well as aesthetics. It fits a lot of stuff in here. The opening is huge. It's one of those like catch-all, throw everything sort of bags. It has a pocket inside and also a zipper pocket outside right here, which I love because I just throw my keys and my phone in here for quick, easy access. But the coolest thing about this bag is it's versatile. You could wear it on your shoulder, you could wear it crossbody, and it even converts to a backpack, which is awesome. In terms of styling this, you could wear it with just like a tee. During the summer, you can also wear it with a coat. I think it looks really awesome with a coat because the coat's really structured, and then you kind of get this contrast of the softness of this. So I think it works really well there. I've also seen it look great with dresses. And then also, this comes in so many colors. There's like. I don't even know how many, but there's a ton of colors. I actually put the cobalt blue version of this in my wish list, so crossing fingers that I get that for Christmas. So this bag retails for $100, but I purchased mine during their Black Friday sale, so I got it for $80. So make sure to check out to see if they have any sales coming up, especially for the holidays or even throughout the new year. All right, so this next gift idea is for anyone looking to style their home with some books, but wanna go and venture out of the chic books that you normally see like from Tom Ford, Louis Vuitton, Chanel. And there's nothing wrong with those books, but I think we can expand our styling and add some color to our life. So as far as price ranges for these books, I've been looking online and they're a little bit all over the place. So just check the links down below. Some of them range from about 40 to 60. Some you could find cheaper. So just make sure to link down below if you guys are interested. So these three books I have right here, I think pair really well together. They're a little bit less stuffy and I feel like they just add a little bit more fun to your home. So the first book I have right here is from an artist and illustrator named Jean Julian. His art, I think, is really recognizable once you see it. It is super witty, but also very unique. Let me show you guys some examples. Yes, yeah, so I just really love his artwork. And the cool thing about his art too is I think it really translates well into like home goods as well as fashion. Look how cool those cups are. And then also on a jacket. It's just super witty and minimal. And then he also does a lot of graphic design work, which I love. And then 
Obviously, the huge pop of color with this orange cover. I think this would look really, really cool in a lot of homes. All right, this next book is called Icons by the late, great Virgil Abloh. Aside from this gorgeous pop of color, you actually have this little cool detail right here that kind of just sticks anywhere on here, which is pretty unique. This book is visually gorgeous and documents its creative process with Nike and it shows some prototypes, Nike archives, and original text messages to Nike, which I think is super unique. And so the next and last book I am recommending is this. It's called How to Live with Objects. And what I really love about this book and its ethos is it focuses less on perfection and more about having personal touches in your home that have a more meaningful impact, especially with like the objects around your house as well as artwork, which is a great transition to our next gift idea, thrifted art. So for our home, we prefer original artwork, but also vintage art because I think it has history. It tells a story, it lets you connect with them not only because you vibe with it but also because you remember exactly where you found it and the emotions of why you bought it and the time period of when you bought it. We have art that we purchased when we bought our first house and that art really brings back those memories of buying your first home and so I connect with it on a personal level. Okay so I just want to show you an example of one that we thrifted a while back. It's gonna be hard to see because of the glare but this one was like $15 or something at a thrift store. It's pretty cool because it's like tapestry so it has a lot of texture. There's even like a certificate of authenticity back here. I have another one here that I wanna show you guys. We haven't hung these because sometimes when you move, it just doesn't work for your space. And so I don't wanna put it up just to put it up, but I also wanna hang on to them because I think they're really good finds. This one I found at a closing sale at a thrift store and it was only about $50, but look how big it is. Definitely wanna find a space for this. I'm not sure exactly where, but we shall see. Oh, and you know what? I have a huge piece that we haven't hung. Let me go grab it so I can show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see the detailing this, but I will try to get a B-roll footage of it because it is like a paper cutout. So this one we invested a little bit more than thrifted artwork, but it was worth it to us. We found it at a consignment store. This is from an artist, a Japanese artist. His name is David Shapiro and it is titled After the Snow and it is number 65 out of 250. So. It is a one of a kind. All right, here is another artwork that we found at a flea market over in North Park, and we scored this. I just thought it was really cool. And so as far as prices go, the ones that you saw in the B-roll, those ranged from like $20 to $100. And then I talked about how much those cost, which so affordable. So I really love shopping for thrifted art because it's just like a fun process of finding little treasures everywhere, but also they can be really meaningful for your space or for your loved ones. So next up on this list is this 3D printed Air Force Ones. This is not affiliated with Lego, but they are inspired by Lego. And I think this is such a cool gift for anyone who loves sneakers, especially Nikes. It's something interactive they can do and they could display it like in their office or on their coffee table or in their room. They also come in a bunch of different colorways, but then also different styles so make sure to check out their website to see if there's something you'd like. This one is the smaller version of the Air Force Ones and this retails for $50 and if you think the person you're getting this for doesn't like to assemble things you can get them pre-assembled for like an additional $10 I believe. I will link it down below. Check them out. Okay, so next up is this portable projector by a company called Nebula. It is their Capsule 3. And what I love about it is it has a built-in battery. So it can last about two and a half hours. And because of its portability, it's perfect for like movie nights in the backyard or if you like to go camping, you can watch movies, which is awesome. It has a built-in speaker, which sounds really good for such a small device. I mean, look at this thing. It's like almost the size of a soda can. It has buttons here so you can access everything, but it also comes with the remote controls. I have streamed YouTube on here, which is awesome. You can actually also put it on your backsplash when you're cooking, if you're needing an instructional video for cooking. And the best part is it's automatic. You just turn it on, you point it somewhere, and then it has automatic features to be able to focus for you and then make sure the screen is straight and parallel to you so that you're not like looking at something skewed. It has a quarter inch mount down here, so you can attach it to a tripod so that let's just say the wall you're watching on you need to adjust so if you just tilt it like that on your tripod you're good to go the only thing i will say though is that not a lot of people are really familiar with how projectors work and because this is so small there are some limitations to be able to use this during the daytime obviously if it's bright you're barely going to see it so this is something you want to use in a dim room if you have blackout shades you can watch it during the day but it really shines during the night when it's dark super excited to take this on our next camping adventure so we can watch a scary movie outside as far as price this retails for 550 dollars and they're currently having a sale for 80 dollars off i'm not sure when that sale ends but check the links down below. All right so next up on my list is this mid-century flip clock I got from a site called letterfolk.com. 
I love this clock because it's an analog clock. In a day where everything is digital, it's kind of nice to have something that is like mechanical and cute. I love how when the time changes, you just see it actually mechanically flip, which is nice. It's crafted by one of the original flip clock pioneers of the 1950s, and it adds minimalist beauty to any room. And lastly, this runs on battery, which I really, really love because you could display it anywhere without having to worry about cords messing up your aesthetic. This gift idea is great for any work from home setup, especially if they're working on a standing desk. A stool is a great way to remind your body to keep your posture straight, which I think leads to better productivity. Especially if you're constantly sitting and standing, this allows you to get up off your seat really quick. This tool is from Ikea and it is really sturdy and feels high quality. This retails for 140 bucks. This next gift idea is for anyone you know that likes to entertain and it is from a company called Aesop and it is part of their home collection. This is a three gift set and it comes with a hand soap, a room spray, and poop drops. <laughs> if you've never heard of poop drops, you're in for a treat. <laughs> Basically, after you do your business, you flush your toilet, you drop a few of these into the toilet bowl, and when you leave the bathroom, you don't have to be embarrassed for the next person to step in. We keep this set in our guest bath for guests to use when we're entertaining or when we have people staying over. It just adds a little bit of luxury hotel feel, especially for those who stay the night. My favorite of these three, if you don't want to get them as a gift set, I would recommend this room spray, and the scent is called Estros. When you spray it in your room, it lasts forever. The thing I hate about other room sprays is you spray it once, and then you smell it for like, a minute. This, if you spray it, you can probably smell it for hours, especially if you close the door in your bathroom and someone walks in. Oh, so good. So this gift set retails for $130 and if you're using it just for your guests, it lasts forever. I believe this has been in our guest bath since we've moved in and we've been in here now for three years for a luxurious guest bath feeling for 103 bucks. Can't go wrong there. For those of you who have been following me for a while now, you guys know I had to recommend my bestie. This is the LG Stand My Me. It is a portable TV that rolls around anywhere in your house. It has a three hour built-in battery life and it can rotate, which is amazing. Like what? Hello, TikTok? No? Yes? So like I said, it has a built-in stand, which is super aesthetic and it can go up and down. I think this would look great in any space. The back. They thought of everything here, but the back is covered in this really beautiful texture. So if it's like standing anywhere in your house, it's gonna look good. The screen is also touch screen, so you can access things really quickly. I love this for YouTube. It is literally my YouTube bestie. I bring it around with me everywhere when I wanna catch up with my favorite creators, especially when I'm like cleaning. I'm gonna roll this out with me and have it play so I can catch up with my creators. Oh look, it is Miss Remy Ashton right there. You can see her. We got Miss Michelle Choi right here. So this guy retails for $1,000, and I know that's a lot for a 27 inch TV, but you have to remember you're getting a really cool built-in rolling TV stand, you're getting a three hour battery life, and most importantly, you're getting a bestie. Okay, so that was number 10 on my aesthetic gift ideas list. But if you stick around to the end of this video, I have a bonus gift idea for you guys, and this is the Instax Mini Evo. It's a hybrid instant digital film camera where you can take pictures and print right away or you can also connect it to your mobile phone and print pictures you took from your phone or your camera. I personally like to just connect my phone to this to make sure that the prints are photos that I want because sometimes when you take a picture, it might be overexposed, underexposed on this. So I would recommend just connecting it to your phone. In the past, I felt like digital Instax prints were kind of blurry, the quality wasn't great, it needed to be a little bit more sharpness and contrast, but I think they're really starting to improve the quality of the print. I have some samples right here I want to show you guys. So this is one I took at Joshua Tree on my big camera and then I just threw it on my phone and then printed it on this Instax. Here's another one of Miss Ico. Here's one from our backyard camping video. Here's one of my friend Holly and Ico at a coffee shop. And then here's another one from our LA vlog of my friends. This comes in this color black and it also comes in a really vintage looking brown color that I was tempted to get. I was I wasn't sure which color I wanted. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this aesthetic gift guide. I hope you guys found some ideas for your loved ones, whether it's gonna be for this holiday season or again, like I said, for birthdays, anniversaries, or even if you just wanna treat yourself, which I pretty much did for most of these. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you can, try to choose happy over sad today, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Boop.